reasoning with unreasonable people is like trying to teach a pig to sing. Mm -hmm. It frustrates the teacher and annoys the pig. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. But, but how did it start? I really can't remember. Well, There's a fellow in Battleground who, who follows me and kind of follows what I write and what I post and stuff and reads it. And occasionally he tries to needle somebody on my Facebook page. Well, it, it was part of a fairly lengthy thread where he, somebody made the point that Obama was a good orator. Well, he, he didn't like that idea. He thought that Obama was a terrible orator. He referenced pauses, hesitations. He called it stammering. How, and, and I just pointed out that that's what maybe it sounds like when somebody is weighing their words carefully. Yeah, that's good. Be, because... Oh, did you? You, you read it. See? Yeah. yeah. And, he, you know, his response was laugh out loud and yada yada about all his speaking experience and listening to other people. And I was really wondering how to um, respond to him. And I just thought, what's the point? And all I said was something to the effect that, uh, <clears throat> first of all, I'm not going to laugh at you because that was his first, LOL was his <laughs> first part of his response to me. Mm -hmm. But I said, uh, nor will I make the mistake of believing that you're capable of a, mean, of a uh, respectful and thoughtful conversation. And I just left it. And here's the thing. <laughs> Roger and I have talked a couple times today, and he thinks I agree with him. I'm going to tell you a little secret. This man is incredibly respectful. He, does, he is. And he has lots of experience in talking. No big deal. You do too. Okay. But what he has told me personally, I met him at a battleground school district meeting uh, whenever it was, you know, a month ago or something, and I recognized him as I recognized you from Facebook, and I leaned over, because of course I showed up a little late, and I leaned over and I said, you are not allowed on my Facebook page anymore. And he looks up and smiles and shook my hand, and we, so we finally met each other personally. But I adore it when he needles people because what he's doing is it, people who follow me, people who are educated, people who hopefully are respectful, they don't come in one shape and size. This guy is a conservative, 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 but he's never been rude to me. Um, and so I, 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 I I didn't agree with your conclusion. Who cares? I mean, you know, well, but I didn't. I was basing it on his initial, the first thing he put on his post in response to the point I was trying to make about Obama weighing his words carefully was laugh out loud. Yeah. And to me, that was, you know, it, rude. Yeah, rude. I mean, if mm -hmm. it had been physically yeah. in the present, I would have turned around and walked away. I said, yeah. What's the point? Yeah. True enough. So, what, uh, yeah, I definitely agree with that. But what I want to do is talk, I, I'm real concerned about Rita learning something before she leaves. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, so I, I'll get back. To <laughs> um, my name is Mike. I just wanted to, to point out, I thought it was interesting, one of the persons being interviewed said, um, kind of like the people are afraid maybe to listen because they might change their oh, views okay. mm -hmm. and I thought that was pretty interesting um, and they had a couple of seemed like conservative folks that pointed out one guy on the street said oh you're, you're not a conservative I can tell and then walked away mm -hmm. he obviously didn't want to have a conversation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and another one talking about you know all the seemingly conspiracy theories and didn't so what do you learn from this this is like everyday life right what do you learn from them saying that well, I think that, you know, you should be open to listening to, to someone else. Why? Well, because you can understand where they're coming from instead of just blindly saying, oh, I have all the information, I exactly know where everyone's coming from, but if someone believes something differently, uh, <laughs> you, you, you can listen to them and, and respect them uh, even if you disagree with it. Like at the end, the guy was saying, we all agree that America should be great and, and, and a good place, and, but we have a different way to get there. Let's talk about that. You know, we can still be friends, but we might disagree on how to get it. 
mm -hmm. to that place where we, you know, we think that American great. Try something, folks. Try something for one, God, try it for one day. But if you could do it for a week, wow. Try to talk to people and not, you know, in, in more intimate conversations, you know, friends or neighbors or whatever. And try not to persuade. Just ask them questions about themselves. Just, I think a lot of people think that the purpose for conversation is to just, if the Republicans could just listen to me, they would know that what they're doing is wrong. I mean, we can be more specific. If, if, uh, if the candidates for the Port of Vancouver just would listen to me, they would know they can't have to cancel this lease with Tesoro Oil. I just, they don't understand what's going to happen to our river. I just need to be alone with them, talk to them, and persuade them that they are wrong. That doesn't get me anything except a whole lot of frustration. But if I could, if somebody feels strongly about something, I have a neighbor who is, tells me, I try to keep an open mind and he tells me about business and about how the trains were for industry along the river and, and there are lots of things that are toxic other than, you know, oil. I'm not gonna go on and on. Um, but it, it, you try for a day or, or longer if you can talking to people not to try to change them. Talk to them and ask them about themselves. And why are they so, like she did about the woman who was a right to life person?